Hi everyone, it's Paul Murphy here from the PremierePro.com and today I wanted to talk about a problem that I discovered while working on a feature film that was shot using the Amira camera. When the assistant editor handed me the project file which contained about 120 hours of footage, I was amazed to see that the file size was over 400 meg, which is huge. This caused all sorts of problems with the stability of the program and made saves and autosaves take a really long time. In the end, I had to divide the project into four separate projects, but I've since figured what was causing the large project size and how to fix it in the future. When you import Amira log C footage into a project, you'll notice that a lookup table called Amira LUT is added automatically. In this latest version of Premiere 2015, so version 9.0, you can't even delete this LUT. And it's actually what's causing the bloat in the project file. And if I look at my project file now, it's 14 meg, which is really big for this amount of footage, considering there are no edits or sequences or effects in this project file. The good news is the solution to this project is actually really, really easy. First, create a search bin that will filter all the video footage together. So .mov, for example. Now load one of the clips into the source monitor. Over in the Lumetri color panel, click to expand the creative options. Set the look to something random, and then set it back to none. Now you're looking at the footage without any LUT applied. If you still wanted to apply the Amira LUT, expand the basic correction options and select Amira from the input LUT. Now click the panel menu and select Save Preset. Name it something like Remove Auto LUT. Select all the clips in your search bin. Open your effects panel and drag your new preset onto the clips. Once you're done, delete your search bin unless you want to keep using it. Now look what happens when you save the project. It's only 130 kilobytes. And if you're working on a large project with a lot of footage, this is going to make a drastic change to how stable Premiere is. So there it is, it's a simple fix to a big problem. I certainly wish I knew that when I first encountered it. I hope this has been helpful to some of you out there working with Amira footage. If you're looking for more tips like this, please check out my website, thepremierepro.com. And until next time, thanks for watching.